have to charge my phone. So. so we're currently up in the hill in ruins of some castle that we've looked for ages on the internet. It's called Scheimel Gala and it's one of these castles where you find like 20 different names but they're all not the actual place. And then we finally found like last night locations to like actually come here. But then it turned out the locations were completely wrong. So if we would have followed those locations, we would have ended up somewhere down there, up there in the mountains where there's nothing. I mean, it's beautiful, but there's literally nothing. So we wouldn't have found this place, to be quite honest, which is weird. But then we asked back like, some locals and they told us to go here. And this is also basically in a way the end of Azerbaijan. So like all the way there is the border to Dagestan where the country ends. I mean behind the mountain basically so not really a crossable border I would assume but maybe with like very professional alpine kind of stuff maybe I don't know. I'm not, I'm not that kind of mountain climber. Now, as I've mentioned on camera, it was actually a mess getting up here and we spent a lot of time getting to wrong spots until eventually somebody could tell us where to go. And it was still kind of confusing because everybody pointed into some direction but you couldn't really see anything up there. And I think we walked for 10-20 minutes through the village until we finally saw the castle in the distance and we were like, oh! And then the whole pathway up didn't seem walkable at first, it seemed very very steep, but it was doable. So we decided to film walking down the hill. Turns out we got 11 minutes of footage of that, which is a bit much. I had to cut like a lot of it just to get some entertainment value out of it and also 90% of it was shaken. I know I should get a stabilizer eventually, but all the material is already filmed so I can only try to find parts that don't hurt your eyes as much as some of them do. So when we got down from the hiking path, we immediately spotted an abandoned house. And since I'm a bit of an urban explorer, I needed to go inside of it. It's not really spectacular, so I'm gonna cut here and there, but it's still really cool to find places like that for me. And usually when I'm traveling alone, I don't enter them, so I really had to take the opportunity here. This is not a castle, it might have been in the past. We're currently at Iliso Tower or Castle, I don't know. Um, it's also closed, we just climbed over the wall. So, no idea if we can enter eventually, if it ever opens.
mean, if you look around, there's like a lot of leftovers with sand and stones. You can easily tell it used to be a river, but it's all dried out. So we're currently in Echiribasa, which is kind of the old town of Gach. If I'm even pronouncing that town right, probably I'm not. Um, I mean, you probably can't really call it an old town. It's kind of 10 houses, more or less, and has walls around them, so it is somewhat old. We had quite a struggle to find that because it's like, again, on no maps, on nothing at all. And we saw a few like hotel complexes or something like that, which looked like it from like the outside with the gates. So we were kind of thinking we might not enter, but then I like asked random people in the supermarket and they were like, oh yes, it's open. And I was like, oh, where? And then they showed us the way finally. So we finally got here, it's quite nice. It's not all that impressive, but it's like, if you're in the area, it's worth looking at, I would claim. I have to tell you, this footage was even worse to handle than the one walking down the hill. I have about 10 minutes of a video of us driving on a very, very awful road and it's like, I'm not even sure which part to show you, which shows best how terrible it was. And then I thought about speeding it up and just giving you all of it, but in a very, very fast way. That didn't seem to work either so well, so now I'm just showing you absolute random bits. That's the only thing I can do. Now the problem with us being only a two-person team is that we can't film all the time, obviously. So as a matter of fact, most of the footage you've just seen came all from the same village, except the one clip in Gach. And for example there we could have filmed how we looked for the old town for ages, but then again, with two people it's just not possible to film all the time that easily. And then we were in Shiki as well, which is more of a touristy place. You probably would find a lot of information on that town. We just didn't find it that spectacular in comparison to the castle and... Also we were quite in a rush because we didn't have that much time left and we really had to walk fast up the hill to get to the Shaykh Palace, which is famous for having stained glass and when the light comes in you see the colors on the floor, but you can't even photograph there, so filming was absolutely not an option. So there wasn't really anything we could have filmed in Shiki. But then again, we aim more to show you places that people don't film as much, so I think we made good choices so far. So here we have the central square of the city, where you can find a small mausoleum, a mosque and some Turkish baths. We haven't really filmed anywhere else in the city center. I mean there are a few sites here and there and the architecture is quite nice, but our main points of interest were outside of the city center after all. Basically on an entrance that is not meant to be an entrance, obviously, but since we're not gonna drive back for half an hour to a place that we here, literally, we're just gonna enter. Like, what, what should happen? I don't think anything else is gonna happen. So now we're starting off with the actual highlights of architecture in Azerbaijan. 
So this is the tomb of Nizami, which was a poet from the 12th century. And I couldn't really find information on how old this mausoleum is. According to Wikipedia, it was built in the 1940s, but it was built on the grounds of an already collapsed mausoleum. And then they rebuilt it again in the 1990s, so it is actually quite new. The stained glass inside is marvelous. So this is one of the most beautiful places, architecturally speaking, I've seen in quite a while. There should be like another mausoleum here, I think, like at least. That's what was said on the map. So you could probably already tell that the wind quite destroyed the audio here and everything that followed was absolutely unintelligible, so I cut the audio out yet again. There's not too much to say actually. I think the mausoleum is the thing you see mostly here and on the opposite side there's the mosque. It's just a whole complex. I do still believe it's one of the most beautiful things I've seen in Azerbaijan architecture-wise, so I would absolutely recommend checking it out.